Outdoors on the Farm is brought to you by Land Trust. Join our community of thousands of outdoor enthusiasts. Find properties, connect with landowners, and book an experience today. Learn more at LandTrust.com. When preparation meets anticipation, the blood can get pumping outdoors on the farm. Today, that's where we find Chip Flory as he and the team hit the blinds for a spring turkey hunt in Missouri. Welcome back to Outdoors on the Farm. I'm Chip Flory. We did all the prep work yesterday. This morning, it's time to head out to the blind, see if we can call up a turkey. Can you shoot three and a half or threes? Okay, so the three, these are three and a half. You can follow this. Oh, I see you right, right. Yep, yeah, yep. Let me give you a little bit of the setup of what we've got going here. We snuck down in here on um, yesterday afternoon. Wind was blowing, it was cloudy. Knowing that it was going to be uh, much quieter this morning, knowing that we were gonna get gray light early. So we got in here when it was dark. We were kind of expecting to hear the toms start to sound off, 545, 550, didn't hear anything. Here it is, it's, it's about 6.30 now, and uh, we're not hearing anything. We haven't seen anything walk by. We're watching the back side of the blind. We're watching the front side of the blind. <laughs> we're listening like crazy, trying to hear what, what's going on out here. But we haven't heard from a Tom, and uh, so that's a little discouraging. We're hoping that Andy is having better luck. We had a very quiet morning, fellas. A very quiet morning. You guys had a little bit more excitement. Colton, what happened? Yeah, we sure did. We got down here, uh, got set up in the blind, decoys out, and 10 minutes later, they started, you know, yeah. gobbling up a storm. Uh, you know, I think another another hen probably gave them a little more that persuaded them to, to head that way. Yeah, I still think, Chip, I still think the best time of the morning is when they come down off the roost and then you hear the woods waking up and yeah. that. That to me is the best part of the hunt. Oh, we were maybe a half a mile away, something like that. And I was trying to listen, see if I could hear anything gobbling down here. And all of a sudden I hear a couple of shots and I'm thinking, man, oh man, we're on them. <laughs> what happened, Andy? I missed that coyote, son of a gun. <laughs> I don't know if you missed I, him. I, well, I, I buckled him a little bit, but the second one was high, I know, and he took off like a bat out of you know what. <laughs> I happened, I was just happened to look out the back of the blind. A nice coyote. It wasn't yeah. one of those mangy things. It was, you know, yeah. beautiful gray coyote. And, uh, and that's it, pre that was pretty much the end of the turkey hunt at that point. You know, a couple of things. You're popping off a couple of shots. You've got a turkey uh, coyote right. that just went through your hunting ground. Things are probably going to slow down anyway. Yeah, things cool down quite a bit when one of those, you know, gets yeah. his eyes on the decoys and starts making his way over. Well, you can tell that Andy and Colton had a lot of fun out here in the timber. They had the whole experience. The only thing that they didn't get was a bird on the ground. But, hey, that's hunting. For Outdoors on the Farm, I'm Chip Flory. We'll be back with more Ag Day in a moment.